Okay, uh, this is Martin Tyner, and we are currently out with Belle, my Harris hawk, and she's just caught her first jackrabbit of the season. Today is September 2nd. As I spoke a little earlier, uh, yesterday we had high winds, and so we kind of just did a little train session, um, and it's uh, now September 2nd uh, morning and it's beautiful and it's calm and Belle has just been perfect uh, she has uh, like we have never like we never stopped going out and, and hunting and so this is the first jackrabbit she's caught of the season so we're very very excited and she's having having some breakfast here around this side a little bit there's my bell there's my pretty bell unfortunately I don't have Susan here with me so she could continue videoing uh, as we were out here in the field uh, hawking and uh, I'm afraid I'll have to turn the video off here pretty quickly and and step her off her rabbit and give her a nice big wonderful reward for being such a great bird and doing such a wonderful job but there you are folks the very first rabbit for 2020 2021 falconry season and she's quite proud of herself she gets to have her breakfast huh sweetie get to have your breakfast right there i know you don't want the camera in your face you're a little camera shy aren't we Okay, well, there you are, folks. Great fun. Belle is just a wonderful, wonderful friend. And we'll take that rabbit home and use it for food for the injured wildlife that we care for. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Second day out. Second jackrabbit. Huh, sweetie? You're doing so good. You're such a good girl. Turn it this way so people can see. There you go. There's my bell. Okay. Day, day two. She's quite happy with herself. She caught herself another jackrabbit. We'll talk to you later. Well, good morning. I'm Martin Tyner, and uh, we're out at one of our favorite uh, hawking sites. Uh, this is uh, well, about five or six miles north of Cedar City and we've got a lot of sagebrush and a lot of rabbit brush which means cottontails and jackrabbits and I've got Belle, the, my Harris hawk, with me and we're going to get her set up now and ready to go for, this, for our little excursion. Now th this, is, um, this is a telemetry, this is a tracking system that uses uh, an Apple smartphone. It won't use any other smartphone. It has to be Apple. And we'll get it turned on here. And I'll show you how this all works. Come on. There we go. And this is the software right here. AeroVision for the for the phone. We turn that on first. And it will come up with uh, a GPS map and we'll bring the map up and show you kind of where we're at okay now this is basically just so you can see it here bring it up nice and big that's the VOR this is what we're standing next to this is our location currently and now we have to hook up the pocket link and that's this is the re receiver that we have, and this goes in my pocket. So we put on the antenna, turn it on with a with little magnet, and we stick that in my pocket. So I've got that, and we've got a, and then we grab a transmitter. I've got a couple of transmitters here, and we grab a transmitter. And we put a battery on the transmitter.
and this is a GPS system and so it works off of uh, satellite GPS and, and so the battery's in it's blinking and it's trying to uh, locate a satellite and so that's all ready to go and then I'm going to do this re really simple I'm going to just use a plastic zip tie and this goes in my pocket Use a plastic zip tie to zip tie it uh, to Bell's anklet. Hi, pretty Bell. How's my pretty girl? She's so good. I can't quite see, but I'm going to try. That's okay. Working your way. I don't know if you guys can see us putting this on or not, but this is the little zip tie going through the grommet and her anklet. I try to leave uh, a little room so it can spin around and, and stuff. And of course we cut off the extra. And then Bill is hooked up and ready to go. Put on the hawking bag. And this, this is Belle, and uh, this is our fourth day in the field uh, from, the, uh, from the start of the falconry season. Over the first three days, she caught a rabbit each day. And uh, so she's, from day one, she caught, her, caught a rabbit. So she's doing very, very well. We're very excited. Um, okay, this is the sound that you hear all the time when I'm out hawking. You can listen to that sound. You can see the GPS and it's blinking. The little green thing, that's that's the hawk. That's the transmitter on the bird. The blinking sound just basically says it's working. I can, if the blinking gets annoying, I can turn the, uh, the, the beep off. But I actually like to have that beep because to be honest with you, this is a relatively new system and I, and I don't trust it completely. And so to hear that beep means that it's working. And so I, I, I like to hear the beep. When I don't hear the beep, then I check it and see if, if something's turned off or some, some problem. But we're gonna go uh, off to the north here. And uh, so let's get over here to the brush a little bit. Now the, th this way, sir. Now th this is the hard part, to be honest with you. Susan's got the hardest job because she is going to film with the camera and kind of watch the camera and then hike through very, very rough terrain as well. And so, you know, I get to watch where I'm going and, and she doesn't. And so it's sometimes uh, a real challenge. They call hmm? hoof prints, yeah. cow, cow hoof prints in there and there'll yeah. be rabbit holes. <laughs> Lots. And lots of problems and 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 stuff but we're gonna we're just gonna go look around she's ready to go and um, one of the secrets guys when you're working with these animals is let them take the lead um, we, we like to kind of give them the opportunity to figure out where they want to go and so she's completely free and she really decides the direction that we're going to travel and uh, she obviously wants to go this way and, and so we kind of let her just take the lead as, as we go out and flush rabbits for her. Oh pretty girl. And again, heavy brush rabbits. Well, 
basically says, instead of going north, she wants to go west. So we'll take her at her word. Now, a lot of you have noticed that I fly Bell right off the glove very much the way we fly uh, goshawks and exhibitors and a lot of people like to fly them from poles with perches on them and and that's perfectly fine uh, I prefer to fly her off the glove for really for no other reason than I, I really like to uh, the social aspect of it, that she's on my glove, she's with me, I can cuddle with her a little bit, um, you know, we keep that personal bond uh, very tight when, uh, when we're out hawking, uh, if you see it on a pole 10 feet over my head, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't feel right to me, it's just not... I just don't feel the relationship and the friendship that we've, that we've built. How oh, pretty girl. Now, this is a good example. If she does go in a direction that I'm not happy with, then I could just call her right back to me. And uh, even before I can get even before I can get a tidbit out, you know, she sees me reaching the bag, she's on her way back. And so it's, even though I do give her uh, the latitude to kind of control where we're going and what we're doing, She's the hunter. I'm her dog. I, I still have, with proper training, the ability to, to call her back and say, hey, I, I saw something going a different direction. So come on back and let's, let's go this way. Twitch there, you see a little sparrow or something. Now, for those of you that, just, that have noticed, she still has her Jessies on. You know, a lot of people get upset about flying a bird with Jessies on. And uh, all I can say is I've been doing this for over 50 years, and I have never had a bird have an issue while having Jessies on. Um, And so we uh, we're not we're not worried about it at all, and it does give me the added security that if there's an issue, and I have to get control of her very very quickly, <clears throat> I don't have to grab the leg. I just grab the Jessies and pick her up. And there are times, um, you know, when. You know, people racing by on motorcycles or ATVs, 
or there's a big dog running in the field coming after us or whatever but there are uh, there are some situations <coughs> where it's really really important to get control of of the bird very quickly <coughs> and so I see the Jesse's as a safety feature and, and not a liability. I hope you don't mind me on your left. No, I don't mind you on get... the left. She's, she's very good. She doesn't care, so. Okay. Better for me for pictures. Yep. You know, when you, in falconry, uh, if you want to be polite and you're in the field of the falconer, you always stay on the opposite side of the falconer from the bird. And so we fly her off the left glove. <clears throat> that means you stay on my right. But the truth is, Belle is such a good, good kid. We don't, we don't have to worry about that too much. the end of the this bunch of sagebrush so we're gonna move a little more to the uh, <clears throat> to the north here That's too small a hole. That's not a rabbit that's hole, a that's rabbit a little hole. gopher hole. She has actually chased rabbits down holes and caught them in their holes. And I've had to uh, pretty much dig her out. And so she does like to look at holes occasionally. Come on. Now she's looking at me. Sorry. And she's looking past you. That's my girl. And as you see, nothing's forced. It is uh, just an opportunity to go for a walk. Let, let Belle get a little exercise. Let me get a little exercise. It's good for physical and mental health. And actually, she's flying a little bit ahead of us. She knows that the jackrabbits usually bust out in front of us. And so she's kind of taking the lead. Looking for rabbits. I'm pursued. Oh, there's a jackrabbit way, way out there. Across the clearing. It's a long flight. If I move, you won't see it. I think I'm going to have to go jog to catch up. Okay. Here's what we have, just so you know, with how the telemetry works. Let me get it's it. Better if I go plus okay. over it. And let's just. I have to get the sun off of the screen. Okay. There we go. 
here's Bell, and we're let's see who we are. Yeah, I'm not, there we are. Here's where we are. The red dot is us. There's Bell. This is the uh, the uh, clearing, the meadow that she crossed, and she's way, way over there. She's 820 feet away. The little blue arrow, and I can tap the arrow, make it a bigger arrow, is pointing in the direction that she's at. So she's basically uh, west of us, uh, eight, by, by eight, 810 feet, feet approximately away from us. And again, we can hike out to her, or I could, at that distance, I could whistle and call her back. But there's probably more rabbits there's, over there. There's probably, yeah, rabbit run over there, so there's probably more rabbits over there. So we'll walk in that direction. But that's how the GPS system works, is it basically has an arrow that points in the direction that we need to travel, and the distance, and it'll give you a lot, of, it'll give you, you know, rate of climb, uh, you know, if foot, it'll give you uh, the angle that you're traveling, it'll give you the speed, it gives you a lot of information, but the only information we really need is the arrow says go that way and, a, and approximately how far. So she's about a football field's distance, not quite a football field's distance away from us. So let's go ahead and... So way out there, I can barely see her as a speck on a bush. I don't know if you can see her with the video. Probably not. But we'll hike out and then I'll turn it back on when we get closer. Pretty view. You can see faintly the moon up in the sky. And uh, you can see uh, Bella head on a bush, maybe. She's probably like, what took you so long?
actually this is kind of neat I'm on a little trail here it's helping me not trip so much and uh, yep. you can see antelope tracks yeah there's a herd coyote of tracks so there's, no there's antelope there and coyote right there so yeah coyote or dog couldn't tell you for sure mostly most likely coyote quite a few out here I'll take advantage of this path that maybe I won't trip as much. Okay. And we're going to go back up this bunch of brush here. Get back south. Let me walk on a path for a bit. Yeah, I know we've gotten rabbits in this field before. Way across. Very, very long yep, and she sees it's. She's not going to chase because it's too far and she's tired. Yeah. That's not good. She's getting tired. So are we. Yeah, and so are we.
Okay, well, we're just about back to the car, and Belle is, uh, she's exhausted, but she did a really good job today, and uh, she knows it's breakfast time. Huh, sweetie? You know it's breakfast time. So we're going to give you a little breakfast. Give you a breakfast. Yes, we will. Right there. Right there. Where my foot is. Oh. Right there. Yeah, that's my girl. She gets her breakfast. What a good girl. Okay. It's all gone. All gone, pretty girl. Here we go. It's my pretty girl. Well, we actually had a very successful walking trip. Say goodbye here and then I can turn it off and walk. I'm tired too. Okay, say goodbye here. My wife's getting getting tired of tripping over stuff. Well, we had a very successful hawking trip. Uh, Bill did absolutely wonderful. Again, the rabbit population is a little bit low, and we usually find more rabbits in the evenings than we do in the morning hours. So it's a little bit little bit late in the morning, and it's a little bit uh, warm. So a lot of the rabbits are denned up right now. But all in all, um, you really couldn't ask for a better hunting companion than my sweet little Belle here. She just just really behaves herself and and puts up with us wonderfully. Well, we're gonna let you guys go. Uh, thanks for hanging out with Belle and I and Susan and, and we hope to talk to you soon. Bye-bye.